and also show you right here like they reading you know the uh, the sniffer number serial number and everything okay and this could be a data okay. so the data is stored yeah. inside the device mm -hmm. and then you could pull it from <clears> the computer yeah okay so the first step is the bump test yeah okay. always get to do that first okay. if you probably make a mistake do the calibration first mm -hmm. maybe it's gonna fail okay so you have to do it yeah. in a certain order see now it's good right the pass okay so pass the bump test yeah. so cool. then we have to wait until everything is kind of they got a can you smell the gas? Because they yeah, throw yeah. out the gas right now, like a rattlesnake, mm. rattle eggs. Okay. And you have to let all of these say purge, right? So it's 49, so it has to be all the way zero before I do the other test. Okay. It takes about a minute to, like say, that's what you're smelling. So each mm -hmm. test is individual? Yeah. Okay. So first it does maybe CO, then it yeah. does the... Mm -hmm. Okay. But See, it's already passed. So mm -hmm. I think I know I told you about that little bottle of gas. It's expensive. It's like three hundred and fifty dollars. Just that little bottle. I mean, it lasts for, I mean, for a while, right? But. Mm -hmm. So this one we're just waiting for it to finish. Yeah, you're gonna see right there. Is the zero? Okay. Yeah. Now see everything says okay. Everything passed, right? Okay. So now we're gonna do the uh, calibration. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we can just hit this, okay? Okay. You wanna also zoom a little bit that thing is gonna be reading the readings there to show you everything. Okay, so bump test is the first step. Mm -hmm. Then we hit the button for the calibration. It's gonna have three lights and we want it to go to the green light. Mm -hmm. So on the light colors or what? Yeah, I mean right now it just is running, right? Mm -hmm. Charging the system, either mm -hmm. it's gonna be green. Mm -hmm. Or if it fails, it's going to be red. Okay. It's going to show the little red dot. There okay. Instead. So when it's running, it yeah, shows the yellow, yellow for run. Yeah. When it's done and it's good, it shows green. Green like and the other one. if there's a problem, it shows red. Yeah. Okay. And it's going to say it's, it's fail. Yeah, I do smell it. And we don't have to wear like a, a respirator or no, a mask or something. No, for doing this, yeah, no, no, I mean, okay. it just, it's just for a I couple mean, minutes. If you want to, you can do it, but I mean, yes. you know, I mean, it's not There's like, no preference yeah, then. Yeah. Okay. There's not like warnings like, in there. No, like each test, it takes about a minute. So, okay, I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Hmm. You can see probably on the screen what is reading and what's Do we have to press any of these buttons? No. In that time? No. no. Okay. No, except like you're going to download the data, mm -hmm. you have to kind of have, you know. Okay. Yeah. So during but, uh, anything actual... else, all you have to do this one first, that's mm -hmm. going to be the ones turn on and off your equipment. Okay. And that's what about it. the others? Uh, like I said, that's going to be like for you need to download the data or anything. Okay. But, I mean, you know. Pretty much, if your bump test pass, mm -hmm. pretty much it uh, positive, your pretty calibration smooth. is going to be good. Okay. So normally, that's the reason you started with the uh, bump test first. Mm -hmm. Because if you're probably going to have any issues on that, you're probably going to have issues. On the, uh, calibration. Okay. So it's like a telltale sign. Yeah. yeah. And if that passes, the bump test passes, the yeah, calibration much, is probably yeah, going to be much okay. Positive, you know. See, now it's. It's not as green. It's green. Okay. And the same thing, it's gonna purge, so it's gonna be take what is it like 60 seconds? So you don't want to stop or do anything until this goes to zero. Okay. 
okay? Because maybe you... You, you might you have, can, it might yeah. be contaminated. Yeah, or, you know, uh, interrupt the uh, And when you say process. purge, it's basically purging the line, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they purging that line everything in out. between the different gas yeah. tanks. Whatever is already went to the sniffer, yeah. they kind of discharge. Yeah, throw them out or discharge. Okay. Because you don't want it to affect the next type of gas mm -hmm. tank. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, and that's, I mean, simple okay. and easy. I mean, you know, just say, just make sure. And then this third row is just for the data transfer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so during the one. actual calibration, you don't have to no, do that? No, they don't have to do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And now it says, yeah. okay. All right. Okay. And then after that, all you have to do is just pull this out, right? This. Okay. And then also you got those two little clips. clips the then, okay. then you pull it. Pull that out. Go like that. I need this logic. Now I'm going to show you. Now it's going to show in when it's going to be calibrated again. Okay. Okay. It's going to be 180 days. So you're going to see it. We're just going to mm -hmm. run and make sure everybody see, you know, truly what it is. Not like, oh, yeah, okay. that's what you say. But... So the machine okay. knows that it's been calibrated. Yeah. It sounds like a yeah. message. So and then reset. also going to have to do the same thing, right? Cover and uncover. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So cover the inlet, right? Pump okay. I want to really see, you see at the end, it's going to show in now uh, calibration, do it on 180 days. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little sticker on it like mm -hmm. the other ones when it was the last time that it was calibrated. I see. So testing. Okay. And you have to do the whole process, like, you know, turn on. But you're going to see, I want, like, say, I want to see. See? Calibration being 180 days. Okay. Every six months, you got to do it. Okay. I mean, if you, if you pass, I mean, that's that's fine. Nothing is going to happen, but mm -hmm. no one should be using this mm -hmm. if it's not calibrated. Even... Probably you can do what they call bypass, yeah. but you shouldn't be doing that. So so you can manually bypass the warning that says, hey, you should calibrate this machine, yeah. but you're doing so at your own risk. Yeah. Pretty you much. Don't, you don't want to guarantee it. that it's going to be nope. accurate. No. Nope. Okay. That's, 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 that's what I tell people. If it's a do it for calibration and you don't have anything else, I mean, until you get calibrated or get another one, mm -hmm. you know, because you it's never know worth, if it's, it's any. It's not worth the risk. Yeah. That's a full sense of security. Mm -hmm. Yes. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. All good. 